Welcome to another episode of Gary War Presents. Today's exploration takes us to a country forever shrouded in mystery, China. Highlights include a Tai Chi session, the Great Wall, a visit to a cloisonné factory, Tiananmen Square, and a subway ride through Beijing, and much, much more. So sit back and make room for your next adventure, China. Welcome to China, and welcome to Beijing. After a long plane ride to the other side of the world, the first thing we need to do is loosen up with a little Tai Chi. Tai Chi is an ancient moving form of yoga and meditation combined. This is downtown Beijing at rush hour. One of the most popular forms of transportation is by bike. How would you like a job like these guys? I don't think so. Let me introduce you to one of the most fascinating monuments on Earth, the Great Wall of China. A couple of facts are in order. The wall runs from east to west and is approximately 4,100 miles long. Its construction began around 200 BC by the Qin Dynasty. In ancient times, the army lived inside the wall. Here we are climbing to the top of the wall from the inside. Needless to say, the views up here are absolutely fantastic. A short ride from the Great Wall and we are visiting a cloisonné studio. Cloisonné is a unique art form that combines the techniques of bronze and porcelain with traditional painting and sculpture. Here the artist is constructing copper shapes according to a preset design. These shapes will be filled with enamel filings and hand painted before being fired at 800 degrees centigrade. 
Cloisonne has been made in China since the 1300s. This is some of the exquisite hand painting that makes Cloisonne so wonderful. These pieces have just come out of the blast furnace and are cooling. After cooling, the artwork is polished to a fine luster, which brings out the magnificent details. It's been a long day, so let's just sit back and enjoy some entertainment, Chinese style. I don't know about her, but I feel much better knowing she's secured by a safety wire. How about you?
This is a pleasant little number I think you'll enjoy. Was it the Chinese or the Italians that invented the hula hoop? This has got to be good exercise. nearby park provided us with this musical entertainment. The name of this musical instrument is an eru. It is basically a two-string violin. But that's only half the story. Look who's singing. And look who's playing. Euchre, that is. It seems the Chinese are playing cards almost everywhere. Hit me, baby. Now this is what I call a cooperative model. Next on our itinerary is Tiananmen Square. To get there, just follow the soldiers. Tiananmen Square is located right in the center of Beijing. This is the Great Hall of the People. It is the site of the China National Congress meetings.
Here is a little panorama of the square, complete with locals. Interestingly, this next structure was built by the Ming Dynasty in 1417. It was the front entrance to the Forbidden City, where only the Emperor and the court were allowed to enter, upon penalty of death. This entrance is called the Gate of Heavenly Peace. This building is the China National Museum. And finally, the long, long line to the Mao Zedong Memorial Hall, where Chairman Mao is preserved in his crystal coffin. Sorry, no cameras allowed. Just outside the square, we enter Beijing's excellent subway system for a ride to our favorite pastime, shopping. As you can see, the subway system is not the only means of transportation in Beijing. Can you believe that none of these bikes are locked up? Yes, they have lunch in China. If you think of this as a big red wagon, it makes a lot more sense.
Here a street merchant is making dim sum or Chinese dumplings. Fillings for these can be sweet or savory, vegetable or meat. There's no limit to what's available to eat at these food stands. Ever wondered how they make pretzels? Watch this guy. A few facts about China. At 1.3 billion people, China is the most populous country on earth. Beijing is the capital of China and has a population of 12 million. Mandarin Chinese is the spoken language. In fact, it is the most widely spoken language in the world, with 900 million speakers. Life expectancy in China is 71 years old. Army service is a compulsory two years. They have the world's largest standing army at 2.5 million, with over 300 million eligible for the draft at any one time. Yikes! Steaming dumplings is an easy trick in this stack steamer. Wonton soup, anyone? Fresh produce is abundant and brought in daily by farmers from outside the city.
the local butcher does a tidy business at this street stand. Don't you wish getting to work could be this easy? The gas mileage is great. Here some ladies are doing laundry the old-fashioned way, by hand. Watch how this chef reheats these noodles to add to a soup. Very clever. The shoe cobblers here will fix your shoes while you wait. Check out this old-fashioned scale. I bet this is more accurate than the scales here at home. Doesn't this bean soup look great? And how
how about this dim sung assembly line? can even join the army on the spot at this recruiting station. Haircuts mandatory. This completes our visit to Beijing. I hope you have enjoyed the tour, and as always, thanks for watching.